Hi friends, welcome to NASA's Nook. Tonight I'm going to go ahead and this is going to be an Instapot dinner. It's going to be two different, um, uh, I could probably break out both of my Instapots, but there's enough time and the other, the second part of this only takes just a smidge of time. So I'm only going to use the one <clears throat> Instapot, but I actually do have two of the liners, so that's what I'm going to be doing. And um, I'm going to bring you down here. And what I did is I washed off my potatoes and I just cut them in half, all right? And I don't know for sure if you guys have seen this online. Well, my daughter and I were at Aldi the other day and it had like these cleaning um, gloves. And I put one on both hands and I cleaned my potatoes very well with that. <laughs> so those do work if you're wondering. I pay like $7.99 for those. I wish they were a little bit bigger. Um, I don't like how tight they feel on my hands, but I mean, it's not like I have them on my hands that long. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and put this over in the Instapot, these um, potatoes for like 20 minutes. And then when that gets done, then it's going to come off pressure. And then I'll go ahead and I'll start the broccoli and cheese soup, like a Panera uh, copycat of uh, broccoli and cheese soup. So that should be really kind of fun. So you know how like back in the day when Wendy's used to have the baked potatoes with the um, broccoli and cheese soup? I think my sister, Chris, over there at City Girl Home said, I think she had just made something like this. I'm not for sure. I can't remember how she made her soup. But she doesn't like to use her Instapot for everything like I do. So a lot of you guys have required, asked me, not required, has asked me to make up some of these videos more with Instapot, more with some of the things that I do use. And I'll be more than glad to always do that because gadgets are life, right? <laughs> well, at least for me sometimes. But I'll go ahead and get this put over there in the Instapot. And then I will be back to finish up everything and show you how everything goes along. I'll be back. Now this is where it's going to be a little bit different for me um, versus the, the recipe that I'm following because I am actually going to use some of my dehydrated onions and carrots. I could use uh, my freeze dried onions and carrots, but not everybody has a freeze dryer and a lot of people do have a dehydrator. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with three cups of chicken broth, okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to measure this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put in a little bit of the, the uh, carrots. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit of the onions. And I give that a stir real quick. Now, it does actually call for um, it does actually call for, uh, milk and stuff, but you do not put milk first in an Instapot because that will just sputter and spatter everywhere. It's a heck of a mess. Just don't do that. <laughs> I've done that before and I just like, what was I thinking? So I'm going to go ahead and put in my container of cream cheese. Messy. All right. And then I'm not going to cook mine quite as long because I'm using frozen broccoli and it's not going to take nowhere near as long to um, cook. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in the package of broccoli. And what I'm going to do is I am going to go out and I'm going to get my second um, three quart. I'll be right back. And it does ask for a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm out. So I'm just going to go ahead and use allspice. And I'll just toss that in there. And as you can see, this is going to go ahead and be put over here. I don't have the cow coverings for all my Instapots, if you're wondering. And I'll go ahead and put this one on. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on for the three minutes because of the fresh or the frozen broccoli 
And this is one that you also do not have to hit the power button on or start button. So I'll be back. This is going to come up to pressure. Uh, we'll add the milk, the cheese, and uh, we'll put that over our potatoes. All right. So this, I did a manual release. I had to do it a lot slower because of the um, uh, cream cheese in there kind of was sputtering a little bit. Always open your container away from you. And let me get a little stir thing here going on. Stir up that cream cheese a little bit. I don't know for sure if you guys can see that. Let me bring it up. All right. And what they say is two cups of milk or, um, or like cream. Yeah, I don't keep the cream here. And then I only have the Fiesta cheese blend here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in a couple handfuls. Get that mixed in there a little bit. I'm going to have to stir this for a little bit, so I'm going to give you a, I'll be right back to do that. Well, before I'm stirring that in. I'm going to put a little bit of salt and pepper in there, and I did get my new salt and pepper shakers yesterday. That works so nice. There'll be a link to the review on that, by the way. And I'll add probably a little bit more cheese. I don't know why that's not as um, uh, cheesy looking, but let me keep uh, stirring this and I'll be right back. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and smash down the potato a little bit. And I'm not for sure the jury's out on um, the soup. I mean, it tastes good, but I'm not for sure if I'll make it this way again. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pour the soup on top of the potatoes. And it's that really big piece of broccoli stem there. And I know that looks kind of bad because it's not red like it, or orange like it's supposed to be. But this is um, the Panera supposedly um, cream of broccoli soup and um, over some mashed potatoes and uh, baked, well, potatoes. baked potatoes, excuse me. So thank you very much for stopping by. I'll put that uh, the picture down below or the what's in here and uh, let you know. Thanks for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day.